Welcome everyone, we are the Grin Brothers, and we're continuing our playthrough of Lil Nightmares 2. Oh, you should be able to hear us just fine. You heard us just fine before, I just feel like more reassured when it's close to you. The microphone, I mean. Yeah, yeah. That and, uh, and friends in the... Whilst I feel I've been perked up a bit, I've noticed I've been a bit quieter as of late, so... Yeah. Right. Unlike you, who's been the happily bubbly one. Oh, here's the doctor at work showing us that great degree he's got. Yep, standard medical tool. Yep, standard medical procedure. He's sawing them in half. What did he cut off? Oh, and he's washing his hands. Yeah, you know, it's very good to do. You know, all very, very, very standard practice. Why see? does he choose to walk on the ceiling? See, a professional at work. Like, this is what I don't understand. Why not just walk on the floor? You've got legs. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're like hook legs. Something they they seem somewhat unnatural. J just his legs. <laughs> I don't think you never met someone who likes that. No, I mean, they just look like standard feet. As you don't. I mean, want... honestly, if it was just a little bit more slimier, I can think of someone who kind of resembles that. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> just a bit more greasy with a McDonald's in his hand. Like <laughs> <laughs> <Mackey's. laughs> Might be want to careful on this on these floors. They've probably never been mopped. I doubt anything in here has been cleaned. Right, is he going to change his routine now that I've moved mm. into a further section? So are you able to converse uh, together with me? Because there is something worth bringing up, but I didn't know if you're going to be... Yeah, I like... should be able to. It doesn't look like I'm doing much at the moment. So, um, despite how it doesn't feel like it, three years have passed, which apparently means we're due for another Pokemon generation. Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, yeah, Pokemon Gen 9 got announced. Yeah. Despite what... Someone said, uh, the safe sex. I watched a video by introspective, uh, with the question in mind, but I definitely feel like it's too soon. Yeah, it feels too soon, but um, yeah, like not much has been shown. But what do you think about Pokemon Espanol? Uh, I the trainer designs look like they'd be very easy to bully. But I'm fine with the art direction. Funny enough, I've heard that from Patter, uh, from Patters as well. He apparently, uh, people were trying to say, "Oh, so you promote bullying children?" And he goes, "Yes, I would love to push these fictional characters into a locker." <laughs> Same. And the problem is less so the clothing, because their clothing's awful. Yes, go admit. And apparently, there's been a lot of Spanish uh, people to come in. I have never seen school uniforms look like this in Spain. This looks like sort of like some 1960s Disney uh, child sort of thing. We just kill that person. We just kill that patient. Yes. Well, he's alive now, but still. Where are we going, Six? I think there's like a key up there. Uh, it's one of the... Um power core things. Okay. Yeah, um... Yeah, the, um... um like, the uh, uniform designs, you know, but it's like, it's more like the character models themselves, because, uh, aside from the, just the them looking... The outfit doesn't gen help. The either. outfit doesn't help. They look super generic. They look like a youngster at best. But also their eye shape. They've got, like, so, like... Despite how, you know, some people are saying, oh, this looks worse than Sword and Shield sort of thing. That's not true, because graphically, the game looks better, easily. Graphically, the game easily looks better. You can see yeah. that in certain textures and all that sort of thing. But someone did a comparison of Gloria's design next to your, you know, Scarlet and Violet training designs. And it's yeah. like, oh gosh, like, the eye shape is a big deal. The circular eye shape compared to the oval eye shape that Pokemon usually goes with. Yeah. Makes a huge difference. 
Honestly, uh, I'm not actually fussed by the way the characters look. They have a very cherub styled face. Yeah. It's just the and it's like with the way they dress and everything, it'd just be so easy to bully them. Yeah, like they, they're easily they're so bland. As well, like um, someone actually did the and it's funny because. HP showed me at first, and then I also saw it again on your meme. Someone did the design of like much better design, sort of like characters with more personality to their design, which yeah. uh, kept like the school uniform theme. Like HP originally was like, I'd say, trying to defend it, and I'm like, look, they have no argument about the school uniform thing when Galar lasses were also school uniform based, and they looked amazing. Yeah. This it? This is what we're meant to do? I, What's happening? I wouldn't think so if he's glitched out like that, uh, like the stretchy neck lady. Because I thought you were supposed to like jump up through there. But six went there. Mm. What's happening right now? He can't reach you because you're behind the door. Yeah. Okay, he just... Oh, we're going to cook him! Oh, that's why Six stayed outside. Yep. And you're going to cook him. But yeah, because this is from the earlier part. And... <laughs> Can I sit with her? That's a lot of fat to burn. This is kind of cute. As a man burns alive. <laughs> hey, he was a doctor. <laughs> hey, 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 human. <laughs> yeah, um, like, uh, you know, it was a much better design that some people showed off. And, like, the thing I really liked with the person who showed, you know, with NHP showing me off these redesigns someone did, is they actually made the male character look interesting, which almost never happens. He had, like, hairstyle was done differently sort of thing. <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to see what happens. Turns out you put your head in a little bit and yeah. you just die. So I suppose you turn off the oven, see what happens? I don't know if I can turn off the oven. No. No? Okay, it's stuck there. Can't push it back up. I guess it's taking a long time to burn him. He might not even be dead. Mm. His charred body flails at you afterwards. Wouldn't surprise me. Um... Yeah, um... Yeah, like... I don't know, man. It's just the way they dress and everything. It just looks like you could put them in a locker or beat them up for lunch money. Uh, you know, like, even you know, ignoring the sort of dress sense, I do think design-wise they feel worse. And it's like, it's like, finally they managed to make the male design uh, 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 as good as a female design by making both equally as bland. They're not the most exciting looking designs, but to be honest, I don't actually have a problem with them. Um, like, look-wise in that mm. sense, because I don't even think they're the worst Pokemon main character design. I do think that they don't stand out as much, but I, I no, I'm in the uh, like, I'm in the opinion that they are the worst of the of uh, all the generations we've got. Like, f as much as I'm not sort of huge on either Hilda or um. The uh, black and white two male train design. I can't remember his name. Um, Hilbert. Sorry, no. Uh, Hilda. No, Hilbert's the black and white. Uh, okay. the Hilda and Hilbert. Uh, Hilda's the black and white yeah. train design. Which that's just a, pref a personal preference. I'm not huge in the whole tomboy trucker look. Yeah. Um, it's like at that point, you know, it's like, you know, it's like, you know, picking the, you know, if it's a choice of you know simply a boy and a girl sort of thing, then. I'd rather the girl be girly in design, or if you're going to have the girl be more tomboyish in design, then make the boy girly. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's basically just two boys. Well, two. Oh, as the you know, Mr. Judge would put, you you know, are you cool or cute? Yeah. It's like, well, at that point, I'd like the option of having the cool or cute not both being the same. Yeah. You know, if you know, in, like you know, Hilda's design would work perfectly well for me if it was a chase of multiple character choice. But if it's a simple case of boy or girl, 
Yeah. Then Hilda doesn't do much for me. I think to be I'm fair... I'm much more preference to Hilda's prototype design, but then that's also a case of, you know... I think it worked well for the American thing, sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, you know, Black and White 2's male trainer design was a bit crazy, but it had personality to it, which is more than I could say of, you know, what we're getting with Scarlet and Vermilion. Sorry, I was distracted by Sorry, Scarlet and Violet. just falling. But that's just the train design. There's a lot more to talk about yeah. as well. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, I'm not... Ultimately, it's kind of like, well, you can customise the characters anyway, so... Yeah. Mm. The default model doesn't really matter so much to me. Um, and then you got the three starters. Um, yeah, you got the spinach cat, the Donald Duck, and the fire cow. It's a crocodile. Fue is, um, means bull in Spanish. Yeah. And uh, Coco, well... There's a reason people um, associate with uh, uh, Coco is relating to cows, because like the male the male word for crocodile, so the male word for crocodile uh, in Spanish is bull. Okay. And Coco, well, that's why I brought up the VTuber thing the other day with you, because yeah. that's what reminded me of it. Because people comment that you know Coco is like cow um. or something. Basically, the it, the Foya Coco is supposed to represent the ox in the zodiac, from the sounds of it. At least that's the theory that people are going with. Okay. So expect that that thing might actually be a cow. Hmm. Interesting. It does, however, look like Bub from Buster Move. A lot of people think it's um inspired by a type of chili pepper mm. and a particular dish where they stuff the end of the chili pepper with cheese yep. because it's got the same kind of shape. People and... expect Spagrado to be like the sexy sort of Pokemon thing, but it's actually going to turn out to be Fue Coco. <laughs> I... With the wifey design. I kind of expect it to be the duck. <laughs> what, the one that everyone thinks is just going to become Donald Duck? Yeah. i got to say... Um, oh, you're okay. alive. Yeah. Um, and you're not. What did he... Dude, six just watching. <laughs> what did he even do? He like screamed at me. Mm. So I um, guess that's what the enemy of this area is. It feels really quick to get to this area. Like before, there was a puzzle to get to the next area, sort of thing. Here, you just kind of immediately there. How oh, the TV time. I love the epilepsy warning at the start of this episode. Then. What? Oh yeah, it's like a normal modern house with normal family people. Well, except the fact that their faces look half melted. Yeah. Maybe this is like the temper the middle stage of the whole, you know, um, people melting and leaving just their clothes behind. What else? That dude that uh, fell through the ceiling and then rammed his head into a TV and died. Mm. Are you watching TV in the bath? Hey, people, it's actually, that's the first time someone's watching it something other than Stack, though. It's true. We're I hearing actual that. music from it and everything. Uh, no fear, only jump. I do not have to do yeah. uh, for the six. I'll be honest straight away. Let's see. Seeing the Pokemon, because this kind of sums up for us with the start, sort of thing. Um, my immediate thought was meh, seeing this Pokemon game announcement. Yeah. Like, I think the, my thoughts and feelings, it doesn't help, like, the comments are like, it's based off Pokemon Legends Arceus, and ma mainly the comment about it being open world yeah. kind of killed off a lot of my interests. And it's just like, I know it's been the usual timeline of three years for a new Pokemon ge generation. It thing. feels too early. It feels too early because Legend Arceus was being made by Game Freak's core team. And, and that came out this year. Came out the same. It will have the idea the people year. had with the Diamond and Pearl remake being handed off to someone else was that means they can give a break to the, and have the entire Game Freak team. It's like people saying, oh, but this is the standard time to solve for it. But it's like, yeah, for a 3DS game, this is the standard time, which Game Freak struggled with. And the DS time, they haven't upped their team size since. Yeah. By any dramatic thing. There's still less than 150 people at Game Freak. Yeah. Which, they Which means they're doing change. a HD Switch game with, you know, at their core team, yes, I know they get assistance from, like, Creatures Inc. and etc. But their core team is less than 150 people. Yeah, they should probably fix that. And it's split into two still. Yeah. People were expecting they would actually combine. It's like, 
a lot of the Nintendo teams got bigger because they combined the handheld and console departments. Because of, you know, the 3DS and, you know, 3DS of, of yeah. thing and the Wii U, so now become the Switch. Um, but yeah, so the feeling of it being brushed and everything still stands. Yeah. Uh, and particularly in the fact that because Legends of Arceus came out at the start of this year, it feels too soon. And because of how the size of a lot of their games, it feels too soon. Heck, I was feeling Pokemon was coming out too soon all the way back with Alpha Sapphire where I had where I suffered burnout from it. Yeah. Because we'd had too much Pokemon. We did have a lot of Pokemon. Um, like, the thing is, Pokemon needs to stop being a yearly franchise. 100%. There's no reason for it. Um, well, money, but... Yeah, and I feel like there needed to be a bigger break. It's not even think they have to keep up with the anime anymore because the anime is <laughs> starting to do the same thing and barely follows, you know... Galar at all. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, so it feels too soon. And with my feelings on all the other Pokemon games, I'm just not interested. Yeah. That said, if I did ever... And also, you know, the character designs are awful. Um, and you can tell it's rushed, because I don't even have the 3D models for the new po starters yet. Yeah. Um, that said, if I were to get the game at any point, or, you know, because I think the only temptation I'd have was, like, doing a song short start. Yeah. Or if, you know, the kid's talking about it sort of thing. Um, I mean, that's, like, part of the reason I kind of was curious with Legends Arceus sort of thing is because, you know, the kids are playing it sort of thing. Yeah. Well, mainly a little hurricane, but... Um, if I were to... Um, my choice seems fairly obvious, given my emotional state. Yeah. I would go with the cat. And you know what I'd name it. Yeah. Um, that said, I also like the look of the fire starter as well. Don't care for the duck, which is ironic because in when I was making my own UK region based region of Pokemon, my you know, the design name print print for the starter was a duck. Yeah. Oh, it's just a new duck. But yeah, uh, what are your thoughts on the starters then? I actually like the look of all of them. Uh mm -hmm. Frey Coco was the one I was most hesitant on, but he's, it's kind of growing on me. Um, the one that's gotten the most attention is Sprigatio the cat, for unfortunate reasons. Yeah, the, I mean, the first image I found, uh, the way I found out about this, because I didn't even bother checking out the Pokemon Direct Presents, because yeah. the only thing that they could really do to interest me at this point, it would be a new Pokken tournament or a new or um, remakes of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Sky. Yeah. Um, but like, uh, I found out it from Know Your Meme with people talking about how much they want to um, mate with the cat. Yeah. I've seen a lot of lewd artwork of the cat, and it's like, please stop. Mm. Not even the cat as like a, you know, humanization or even a Jajinka. Sometimes just the cat. Yeah. As a cat. Which I'm not sure where the, what the anime reference is from, but they brought up the image, someone did an image with, with red, like older red sort of thing. It's like, a cat will do this. <laughs> and you got this guy goes like, I'm in trouble! I can't remember what uh, what that was from. But... I don't remember what that was originally from. What do you want us to do, Six? I mean, we pulled this lever. Is there a hole in that wooden planks over there? Uh, maybe check the other room. Pull it again? Because you didn't check the other room. No, it's not doing anything. Check the room with the key locker in it again. I figure that's worth a check now, because like last time we you know, had a situation like this, you know, like with the bathroom. Yeah. No? It doesn't look like anything's changed in it. Mm. But yeah, I'm just... Um, and also, you know, again, because my, my recent... I mean, admittedly, they're never going to do it. They're never going to do it. My recent complaint is, you know, they've not taken advantage of all these colder weather regions to actually give you early game ice types. And that's not going to happen in a region based off Spain now, is it? Might do. You never know. Um, but yeah, like... I mean, the not... fact the fact that I found that the region based off my own country so disappointing yeah uh, doesn't help things but yeah like, I don't know I, just, I think it's truly shown the the lack of enthusiasm I have for Pokemon when a new Pokemon game comes out and it's like I'm not even thinking of it really 
as a as something to get. She doesn't want to go in the elevator. Mm. It's just like my I had no interest at all, and like my only interest really is purely because of my emotional feelings regarding Zero. That's the only real sort of like you know going through with a cat named Zero sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but otherwise, it's like none. Can we go backwards, maybe. Do you have an interest in Pokemon Gen 9? Uh, somewhat, yeah. I'll be honest. I mean, you did enjoy Legends Arceus, so... Yeah. It's building off that template. Which, I don't sure how it's building off a template of a game that they wouldn't have had feedback from because they only just released it, like, a month ago. Which isn't really enough time to get proper feedback from. No. Not in the slightest. But that's Game Freak for you. Hmm. Okay, it's respawned me back here. Okay. But it is a fair ways back. Yeah. And I still don't know what I did wrong in the first place. Hmm. I got a lot of hype with that jump. You did. Come on, climb up. Um, yeah, like, I'm interested, I mean, to be fair, it's like, a lot of people pick, uh, like, I'm gonna choose to start straight away, and it's like, I just wait for the final evolutions before I make a definite decision, because it makes more sense. The amount of people who chose Fennekin is hilarious. Yeah. And then, and then Del Fox came along and he's like, stat-wise and moveset-wise, it's just not... Well, it's like, it has stats, but it's moveset. It just can't make advantage of it. A lot of people say the same thing about being disappointed with Chestnut, but they are wrong. Yes, Chestnut, Chestnut is big fluffy is boy. an amazing design, mm. and I don't care what anyone says. But people are like, Greninja's amazing! It's like, no, it's not. Mm. They literally had to change Greninja to actually make him, like, properly better, because... His signature move didn't even have the right stat line up. Okay, I kind of like There are some things that interest me with the Pokemon Legends Arceus template. Given how much they limited the move sets, kind of, you know, I like the battle mechanic of yeah. Legends Arceus. My problem is that, you know, they're going even more open, and I felt Legends Arceus wasn't really my kind of thing with the open thing. Yeah. Maybe you'll have the gym format, which might interest me, but from the sounds of it, they're going with a more open format, so it still might not interest me as a result. Yeah, I think they do have gyms. Cause yeah. It, one of the cities had, like, all the types marked around on a circle on the floor. Mm. So I don't know if they plan to just have a gym for every type, which would be insane. And would continue the theme of Game Freak Rush Everything, because yeah. they're not allowed to... They may do that purely because the main thing Game Freak are now known for is making human characters now, rather than Pokemon. Yeah. Because like that's also the thing, like, with, you know... It feels like Pokemon Gen 8 wasn't that long ago because the Pokemon have barely been focused on. Like, for instance, the Gen 4 remakes, you know, none of the Galar Pokemon are available in either that or Legends Arceus, really. Nope. And the Galar Pokemon themselves, because of the way the anime's done, the only one who, you know, the only one who has the Galar Pokemon typically is Go, and so there's not much focus on Galar Pokemon. Yeah. Because Ash's team is mostly non-Galar Pokemon. Um. And, um, it just feels like it feels like, you know, and, you know, as, you know, you mentioned to me before, people don't talk about the Galarian Pokemon much. No, they don't. The interest in the actual Pokemon died out real quickly. Everyone's talking... Even the starters, of, people don't really talk yeah, about. People instead talk about the humans more so than they think. Heck, mm -hmm. he went... Uh, it was like, oh, was it Foggy Arcade or Four Arcade? I'm not a big fan of a lot of his roster creation videos because whilst he has a good template for it, a lot of it is too personally driven and a more... Uh, being able to accept this would only be a personal decision sort of thing. But going for a, you know, this makes more sense sort of thing. Even his idea of a Pokemon Tournament 2 sort of thing was the emphasis of, whilst the Pokemon were to, obviously the fighters, his would be the base of, there's a trainer for each Pokemon and they'd be from like the actual, get, you know, other games sort of thing. And it put more emphasis on choosing the trainers rather than the actual Pokemon. Yeah. And the one case I got annoyed with him was that he mentioned the, you know, about fairy Pokemon. He mentioned having Sylveon, but he said the... But the thing is, fairy is supposed to be cute, and, you know, I don't think Bug-Eyed Valerie still fits that theme sort of thing. It's like, Valerie's adorable. Yeah, it's literally, like, she's designed to be very typical 
anime looking, which is why she's got giant eyes. Mm. At least that's how I always felt. But, but a lot of people were creeped out by her bug eyes, as they call it. I mean, but I always like. She her. is kind of creepy. I, I always think, love her because that I also love... fits fairies. Yeah, I love her design. Um, she's very doll-like. I don't like this. That's mm. making me feel sick. This feels like a, oddly like a midway point. Yeah, that that feels like that's our final threat. Yeah. A tower. Mm. Ominous music kind of sounds like Halo. Nice little uh, architecture there. Don't know if you're supposed to explore the house first while climbing up. I don't think. I don't know, because it feels like six goes to go this way. <laughs> oh! <laughs> That's so a way to Because I just didn't know if there'd be a glitch or something, or a hat. It's been a long time since a hat. Yeah. And that's what would happen if we decide to explore. Yeah, I don't think we can. Oh, it's a door. Okay, I thought it was just a, you know, empty. You thing. thought it was door. a door. Yeah. Door. Sorry about that. I mean, uh, it only cost me one life. Yeah. But the uh, okay. any other thoughts regarding Pokemon Spanish? <laughs> Pokemon Span. <laughs> um. It's not like they really showed off that much. Mm. And like, yet it's coming out this year. That's kind of, again, just the further worrying part. You know? Yeah. Like, they showed off free Pokemon in it. Heck, Legends Arceus feels like it should have been saved as the November 2022 game, let alone... Because like, it doesn't feel like anyone had a proper breather between it and Diamond and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. No, no one remembers Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. They've forgotten about it already. Yeah. Okay, I can't jump that far. Mm. Thank you, Six. Like, it's uh, so odd. Yeah. I Honestly, like, there's not been enough space between it and Legends. Mm. And, like, people are still playing Legends, is the thing. Yeah, because after all, to actually get the, what people feel is the actual ending, you need to get all the, you know, yeah. Pokemon to do the, well, all the plates to get the final battle. Like, this would be a perfect opportunity for them to wait and take a bit longer to release the game, but I guess they just want to hit that Christmas release. Because, mm. I think, it's not even like Legends sold bad, being... It's not like they even need to release the game. I'm pretty sure Breath of the Wild 2 is supposed to come out this year. I think that does well enough in Nintendo getting their money. Yeah, but Pokemon Company want their money. Remember, they probably have... So how long do you expect until we get a Pokemon NFT? Uh, don't. Anyway, I should probably... I think Nintendo would stop that. Yeah, uh, Nintendo's interested more so in the metaverse than NFT, because they yeah. like the idea of the metaverse. Although at some point, the whole thing of the metaverse was already done before. It's called PlayStation Home. It was the online connection network of the PS3. Yeah. People would realise the whilst calling concept, it just took longer to get to a video game. Because like you'd go to the metaverse and instead of playing a video game, you'd have to go, you know, walk your avatar to the video game station to find the right video game. That's hilarious. Rather than just clicking on a menu. It's like uh you know, people's complaints about, you know, motion control sort of thing. Yeah. It you know, a button a button will always be seen as the better thing because it's more immediate. Yeah. You click button, it does the thing. Yeah. Whereas, like, Metaverse basically just puts an extra step before you do other stuff you were going to do anyway. Yeah. It was just quicker to log boot up a game and have people join you by just saying, hey, I've opened up a server sort of thing. Yeah, right. Rather than go up to their virtual avatar to address them. Rather than having people have to literally run to your house to... Yeah. It's, like, cool conceptually, but not practical. Yeah. But, um, yeah, Pokemon. Mm. They, people are really horny over a cat again. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below are you about horny Pokemon. For the cat? <laughs> it's okay. You can tell me. <laughs> I won't judge. He will. It's too late. Judgment has already been passed. Mm -hmm. You can't lie to me. I know the truth. Mm. You furries. Cheerio.